Hey everybody, welcome to the live stream. We're going to be doing a Dwerger build competition on my servers, my Valheim servers. If you're interested in joining us and seeing all the great builds or maybe building something yourself, hey, just go to my website, jirakaviking.com. We're going to be doing a Dwerger. And you're going to hear my echo there for a second as I had to go over and mute youtube because i hear myself uh so yeah we're doing a dwerger build competition if you want to play on my servers you can just go to my website to find out how jirokthevikingcom and joining me today to help me do some judging are these amazing folks hey everybody hello, hello. hi hello, everyone. everyone and hi to my stream we got gwen the shield maiden as in gwen the admin today <laughs> Hello, how's and, everyone doing? And Gwen just released an amazing video about uh, reenactor uh, checking out the clothes in Valheim and comparing it to real life stuff. And you should check that out on her channel. Really nicely produced video, Gwen. Thank you, thank you. I uh, enjoyed making it. And we have with us Beetle Jules. Jules is a Valheim modder and a digital person because uh, mm. we never see him in real life <laughs> hello beep beep bloop beep working class dudes here no admin powers but judging powers <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm with the judge. and we have admin gorth welcome gorth so hey, glad hello, you could join us nice to be back Sorry, I don't have my shirt on, but uh, it's good for flexing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask, what's up with that? Isn't it cold? <laughs> this is the Ashlands. It's super warm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm paper sweating a lot, actually. <laughs> well, we have uh, four entries today. Um, so we're going to... We're, on, we're actually on the server we're on is my Runeland server. This is... The server that launched with Mislins to give everybody a fresh new world to build in with all the new Mislins stuff. And uh, my, the, my original server, which is still running, launched in, was it 2021? September 2021? Something like that. But uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go. We got the four portals over here. And we're going to take them in order mm -hmm. left to right. And so let me just explain the judging real quick. So Dwerger home build competition. So the judging is going to be based on uh, two things, uh, the Dwerger feel. And so do we feel like it, does it feel like a Dwerger home? So the Dwerger in, in Valheim, uh, they're like traditional dwarves in that they seem to do like big, heavy structures and lots of engineering, feats of engineering but also they have a very strong tinge of magic. So we'll be looking for those. Does it feel to us? And this is all subjective, so sorry if you think differently than our opinions, but does it feel like a Dwerger home based on what Valheim has given us with the Dwerger in the game? And then uh, just pure awesome factor in that is everything from aesthetic to location to setting to all the little engineering and decorative feats uh, that the player can come up with. And that's just how awesome do we feel the build is. Because we might see some awesome builds that we just really think are awesome, you know, like amazing, amazing, but maybe they just don't quite feel like a Dwerger build. So that's, a, you know, completely subjective. You, you know, somebody may get a five because it's an amazing build, but a one because it just doesn't feel Dwerger. But let's see, let's see what we got today. Um, I'll jump through Lil Breeze and we'll load it up. You see my custom load screen there just pop on the screen. Yeah, <laughs> it popped <laughs> up on my screen too. Go check out uh, Jirok the Vikings uh, merch shop. shop. My, mine says something cool. about Bambi. I'm not sure what it says. It was very quick. <laughs> uh, I won't know who made that. Let's hmm. see. Oh yeah, Jules actually helped me put together that uh, some another modder put together that custom uh, load screens, and and Jules helped me configure it for my servers. Oh, nice. Good to know people who know stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I hung out with you guys because I know nothing. <laughs> wow. That's all you need in life. No people. Well, no check stuff. check out this presentation. Come Ooh. up the path and. 
Boom. Oh, wow. Ooh, an anvil. An, a hammer and an anvil. Look at that. The four. That is yeah. pretty cool. Now that that's a pretty Huge. good presentation. Look, and I don't know how carefully the location site was chosen, but look at the world tree going down into the ocean in the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What a great setting. <laughs> Hold yeah. on, there was a there was a couple of instructions. Let me tr try to find them on like ideal environment, time of day, stuff like that. Let me try to see if I can set that up. Okay. Let's see here. That is pretty neat. I'm going to start heading down while Gwen is looking up. Oh, yeah. Clear sunrise day. Yeah, I love the setting for this towards the uh, edge of the world here. The tree looking so big, it really adds to the grandeur of the uh, site here. <laughs> it's important. Like I saw I'm a filmmaker, so I'm always looking at the visual aesthetic. Uh, when we did our build for Balder competition, we build Asgard. My main contribution was the just the layout and directing. Yeah, the <laughs> composition of, of yeah. all the shots that would be made of the builds that everybody were building. And yeah, this is well well thought through in the location. So let's I'm gonna I'm gonna just kind of wander around this this thing. Anvil face. Oh, Ooh, the new uh, whoop, the new uh, hexagonal gate, which was just nice. added in the last patch. Beautiful add on. Yeah. And yeah, wow! This this casing and the casing of the um, the iron doors it's perfect for the hexagonal the uh, door. It fits yeah. so good. I like the uh, the floor has a nice mix of uh, normal stone and black marble. It makes it look uh, pop out more. Looks cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I see what you mean, uh, Koth. The door and the yeah, the Gates. frame around the door. Yeah, very mm -hmm. nice. Right. Well, oh, and a, we have a little entryway here leading. In. Look at the Ooh. hallway. The hallway is shaped like the door. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it makes me think like think of? Like spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the, the the, <laughs> like Star Wars. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh, look oh. at this. We're entering into a dark hole here. Oh. We're entering into a bunker. Ooh. This is an airlock. <laughs> yeah, this exactly. An, it's an airlock. Oh, wow. Like, oh, wow. That is very mm. cool. I love how it looks. The... Look back at the door that we just came yeah. in. <laughs> nice uh, nice outline there around the door. Mm -hmm. And when you open the door, it's all, it's like light. Oh, and we've got Lighting some. Match, matches the, the entry on the other side. It really looks like we just came through a tunnel, oh, especially look. with the quick jump. Yeah. And look at the uh, ceiling in here. Ooh. Oh, nice. Wow, look at that. All yeah. that work with the... Uh, what, do you, what do you call all those pieces that hold up the roof? <laughs> the support? Beans? Yeah. That is really, really interesting looking. Ooh, very intricate. Yeah. Very cool. Some fun signs here, too. Better to die with honor than live with shame. He with a short knife must try, try again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh, look at, up ahead. Oh, we got the uh, hol holiday decorations. Oh, I like this. Oh, look at this. A centerpiece. A piece of co coal, coal uh, here for, uh, that the mushrooms are growing out of. Yeah. I look on the chair oh, on the yeah. stool. There's also a little helmet and a big hammer, mm -hmm. a big bonky bonk. Yep. Nice. Dwarger like to give him the business with the hammer. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Which area looks very good. So we definitely we feel like we've gone underground into uh, Dwarger underground structure. Which you can't, it's hard to do in Valheim, right? Like, unless you find the right rock and you dig mm -hmm. underneath it and you hollow it out a little bit. 
but you make made it nice and dark. Even though it has light, it's dark enough to look like the the, the Verger builds, like it would be a more refined Verger build. Mm -hmm. The ones that we're getting in game would be a like a poor version, and this would be a more elaborate. Yeah, it fits the Verger in game Verger visuals, I think. Yeah, I really like the uh, the forge setup here. Is that the oh tin ore? <laughs> I didn't know tin ore looks like this when you. Yeah, this is this is a nice uh, forging station. I love the way the bars are used there as a decorative element. Mm -hmm. uh, these diamond shaped. Metal, oh yeah. Metal fences. Forge cooler on the wall there. Interesting, mm -hmm. nice touch. Yeah, very nicely laid out, all this stuff. And an ancient seed in the barrel here. That's an interesting touch. Nice. Yeah, this really looks like a Dwarger workshop to me here. Mm-hmm. Nice. A chicken being uh, processed. I think there's more, they're doing more than processing chickens in this case. <laughs> it's not just the processing that's being done here. If you have a look over here on this side. Oh, what does it uh, say? Sacrifice. <laughs> uh oh. I think the chickens oh, are not look, just. That's... It's not Hugen just. Hugen is uh, on my screen. Hugen is uh, ready to be sacrificed. I think he's volunteering. Well, Hugen, I will be more than happy to do you the honors. <laughs> <laughs> lovely things with the platters. Looks like the builder was captured too and sacrificed. That's uh, the grave here of Libri. Yeah, <laughs> I was noticing that. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we got some into your own traps. We got some chickens in cages over here too. That's a nice touch. Mm -hmm. Those are uh, the sacrifice. Those are to be sacrificed, apparently. Mm hmm. Or or made to watch. <laughs> <laughs> mm. For terror purposes. It seems to be to me that those uh, dwergers who live here have a bit of a chicken cult. Mm. <laughs> they seem to be a bit obsessed. Well, now now we know where their uh, magic powers come from, right? From chicken <laughs> sacrifice. <Power of> chicken. <laughs> that Viking sacrifice. Yeah, the chicken, the only creature you can bring into a cave with you. Because you can mm -hmm. hatch the eggs in here. Yep. Great pets. You can have them anywhere. And there's upstairs, apparently. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice decorations all around. Great use of a troll cave. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Nice. A nice little spiral staircase going up. Let's go see what's up here. That's oh, a self-made spiral staircase. Oh, yeah. Not the vanilla one. It's oh. not the Dwerger build piece one. Oh, you're right. But it, it looks uh, nicer. Because uh, as I found out yesterday, while trying to do to make my first spiral uh, Dwerger build one, they don't clip very well, do they? No. Mm. No, they don't. Yeah, the middle yeah. beam looks very off. I thought they fixed that yeah. in the last patch. They didn't? I think they did, mm. but probably you will have to re planted pieces i don't know well i i, I built it yesterday so and yeah i'm oh, and not it, sure it they still did. didn't look right huh nope no no it mm. was like clipping mm. weirdly yeah. i like this little bath area here it's yeah with, i saw that there's the a sponge walls. you see that yeah yeah divider wall but also like there's the soap and the sponges and the and shampoo and, jelly. and, and the conditioner i need all that stuff for my beard uh. <laughs> you need to put some royal jelly in your beard to make it grow and shine. Yeah. Nice. And what do we have over here? We have some. Uh, That's the bat. What is this? Certling core and minor eater mead together. Interesting glowing light uh, fixture with the two mm. side by side right there. Great, mm -hmm. great little magical, magical uh, light uh, night lights. Or, or, you know, bed lights for a magical Dwerger home. <laughs> and what do we have here on the right side? 
Fate of the Gods, The Twilight of the Gods, and The Fate of Mankind. The Myth of Ragnarok. Oh, look at this. I'm going to scroll through these real quick. So if you want to stop the video, you can read all of them. Do, do, do. Vikings believe. And this room is just at figure height. Because you have to crouch around to move most around it. Yeah, Everything they're is a little shorter, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's this is a really cool uh, little end, little you know, just dresser or table or something here on the side. I like that. Very decorative. I really like those centerpieces with the coal and the uh, mage caps and mushrooms and stuff. It really looks pretty. Yeah, I haven't quite and, seen. Uh, uh, couch looks nice. That combination of stuff put together. Mm -hmm. Of course, with the new mushrooms, you can only have done it since Miss Lens came out. And what's that green glow? Oh, black metal scrap. Interesting. It's a bit of a glow to it. Yeah. Nice. nice. Interesting uh, use. So, yeah, this entry is modded because the item stands all item. Yes. <laughs> item stands all item. <laughs> No, <laughs> item stands all. I yeah, it is. No, you don't even have to go that far. It's inside a cave. Yes, also yeah. So building dungeons mm. is the mod that is used so that it was built in the cave. Um, the colorful signs mod was used for some of the um, uh, for like the some of the coloring and so on. Well, no, actually, you don't. It's just on my screen, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't think there was any color changes or so the the signs themselves are probably vanilla although they do have a character limit and those ones the books are pretty long so i think yeah uh lil brie was probably also running that mod and then um it is item stands all items isn't it item stand all items all on item stands item stand all items yeah items. yeah so that one allows you to put any item on an item stands so it's more like all items on stands but Oh no, look, there's a, a cooked egg on the floor. Okay. So an, an egg broke. <laughs> no. Oh wow. Oh, no. That's <laughs> funny. I didn't notice that when I yeah. came by the first time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just about, noticed that now. That's funny. Yeah, the thing about these builds is when they get really detailed into the decoration, which I can tell little Bree did, you could probably spend a long time in here going through all the the intricacies yeah. of the decorations yeah um, but wow yeah this this is this is really cool but it's still christmas in here with all the presents nobody opened it guys it's mid of february hey it's Throw christmas it's christmas, <laughs> christmas all year jules we are <laughs> in the spirit of giving and friendship all year round yeah, yeah, this build doesn't look like it's giving much. It's more sacrificing a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, the Christmas tree and the uh, the chicken sacrifices are 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 kind of uh, but butting heads, right? At odds. <laughs> yeah, at odds. <laughs> well, you you don't know you don't know what's in the in the parcels. It could be uh, some fried chicken gifted away for uh, uh, the workers in need. You never know. Yeah, <laughs> more torture instruments. <laughs> and also it has uh, emotional support posters so yeah. <laughs> must must be hard to sacrifice all the chickens <laughs> for the eiter to flow well i strongly recommend uh this uh, people on my server come check out this build there's a lot of detail to look at a lot of fun signs and books to read and hopefully little brie um can add this to the stargate um map room so that we can people can connect to it easily and come visit it very good all right um let's see i wanted to check out the portal outside i was just curious because we got this big structure out here there's a portal over here that just says anvil storage so i'm, I'm guessing it's just the inside of this anvil i want to check the one that says anvil face <laughs> oh there's an anvil face one too yeah, I wonder. Oh, well, let's, oh, let's do that one after. Oh, to get at the top. It's the. Oh, oops. Well, oh, it's the. Uh, I'm now on, on top of the building. 
Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. <gasps> oh. Yep, just a big empty space. Because yep. the, well, the real... I'm here. The real build is... Uh, well, for the storage, it's just a big empty space. Oh. But... oh, okay. The storage. But there's a cool little detail here. Let's see. Running ahead without me. <laughs> In the face one? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Jeez, I need Whoa. to be careful. Thrush. Oh, yeah. It hit me. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> oh, oh. You have to... Uh -oh. Let's rush and roulette again. Try to dodge it. <laughs> so where the uh, hammer is hitting the anvil, there's some spots. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice detail. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but yeah. That's what that's representing. Good. Uh... Good catch, Gwen. Pretty fun. Very nice, very nice. All right. Well, I'm going to head back while Beetle Jules makes runs back to the portal, since he can't teleport. <laughs> mm, yeah. And I'm going to go through the next portal to start it loading. That'll be Evers. And then don't forget to record all your scores. Let's see, that was Lil Bree. Panorus is watching my stream and saying Lil Bree is making me not like my build anymore. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be great. Ooh, it's cold here. I hope Jules has a cape. Yeah, yeah you have got a the cape. feather cape. Does a feather cape protect from... Uh... Yes, ma'am. Which doesn't make much sense, does it? Maybe it's a lot of feathers. Cozy bird. Hmm. I've got my mouse cursor following me around. I keep clicking outside my window. It's annoying. <laughs> Is that why you, you keep punching the air? Yes. That's I was I wondering. Keep, like, oh, why does it keep doing like, this? Wow, you, you're angry today, Jock. <laughs> <laughs> so we very found a way to make little turrets with it here. I can't get rid of it. All right, let me reset my environment. My time of day. Ooh, right. What a difference lighting makes. Oh, look at this presentation as we walk up. I, I like the uh, the stone, uh, the portal uh, entrance here. Good use yeah, of the new shapes. Cool. And check out this uh, little light marker. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, dangerous. this is driving me nuts. I keep clicking into my other monitors. I have to restart my game real quick. Sorry, everybody. I will leave oh. my okay. face on here, though. So you can see that me while I restart that, uh, my game. That means that we need to entertain, then. Quick PvP, guys. <laughs> I didn't even say it, and Goth is already like shield out, ready to. <laughs> All right, PvP on. Careful, Jules, Jules. is. Uh... <laughs> I'm not sure if I should make that. I don't know where he's bound, <laughs> and he can't teleport easily. I need a feather cape. Or maybe, oh yeah, make uh, you could make Goth fly. Oh, I don't know hmm. if there's any elevation here. I mean, we're on the mountain. What more elevation do you need? <laughs> that Drake over there looks weird. Oops. 
Oops. I aggroed it. Okay, jump. Wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give me a little bit. Let <laughs> think a little squirrel. And jump. Come oh. back in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> When admins what? are bored. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm inside a wall. Oh no. Come here. Come here, you think. Let me just get inside this little notch here. Hold on. Come back here. Hold Come up. back here. Yeah. And jump. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. I go. Hold on. Hit me while I'm here. Yeah. Okay, you jump and I say jump. And jump. Oh. Oh, too, slow. Oh, too laggy. To the. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And jump. Oh. Do you think the ballistas uh, are going to trigger <laughs> if they see a flying <laughs> both? <laughs> uh, probably they are tar targeted to drinks. Ah. Yeah, I paper sweated a bit <laughs> when I saw them around the corner. <laughs> oh, OBS, come on, show my game window. There we go. <laughs> ah, much better. Hey, I'm back. Yes. <laughs> Poor Drake. No. <laughs> Drake All right. Well, so we were talking about the uh, the presentation here it is really nice. And Ooh, I'm just setting. Is that, that a giant? Is that a giant sword or what is that? We'll have to get closer. Jules, Ow. are you getting shot by the uh, no. catapult? <laughs> oh, that's <No>. Gorth. <laughs> or no, it's shooting well, the drakes, huh? Well, the drake was yeah. shooting me. Mm. Catapult got my back. So this is Vivares. Known for being quite the quite the builder. Yeah. Nice setup with the catapults to take care of the uh, drakes. Mm. I like Ooh. the uh, ruined, uh, ruined stair uh, feel here, which also acts, I think, as a... I think he probably did that so that the mobs don't come up the stairs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, a little bit of damage done here in battle. But... Mm -hmm. Check out oh, the... Oh, wow. Uh, down on the left, that... Uh, Magical looking uh, sphere floating above, mm -hmm. and the pattern, oh, yeah. the pattern so below the below the altar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, that is looking really nice. Oh, it's really smooth. This pattern. Uh huh. Which build piece is that made out of? It's the triangle, marble floor triangle. Yeah. Yep, and Marble raise just a tiny bit. Triangle. That's one of the best things I've seen with the uh, new build pieces is people building all these symbols into their floors and walls with uh, the new shapes. That's really neat. Nice. Nice touch. Oh, and look. He has a Vec Vizier here in the balcony. Oh, nice. Oh. This nice was touch. probably all set up around this piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, great. Great spot, great location. I'm loving Good this. Table. I feel like uh, some amazing magic can happen here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I imagine at night with the wisps around as well, it must look really cool. Oh yeah, we can set it to nighttime real quick. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if we set it to nighttime, nighttime will it um, bring the wisps? Or does it have to be the right time in game. What time is it in game, uh, Jules? To bring uh, the wisps? One, one thirty. Ah, okay. PM. Yeah, so we won't see the wisps until it's actually night time. It says the wisps are coming. <laughs> Guys, I gave, need to make a little emergency phone call real quick, no but worries. I'll be right back with you. Yeah, no worries. So I'm going to head back up to the stairs so we can get the proper entrance here. Oh, and oh, look, wow. at look at this. We've got an axe buried oh. in the mountainside here. 
Yeah, I saw that late, uh, earlier. But uh, yeah, on my screen now, I've got an amazing shot with uh, the moon in the background and then the Moda tier floating just next to it, like a reverse Tatooine. Oh, with nice. Two moons instead of two suns. <laughs> yeah, if you're watching That's the stream, so cool. check out Gwen the Shield Maiden's YouTube too. You can watch it from her perspective as well. Yeah. So anybody wondering how he created that giant axe there, that is a, a mod that we allow on our vanilla server called Item Stands, Items All, right? Something like that, Gwen? <laughs> item Stands, All Items, well, I believe, which name doesn't make much sense to me. It should be All Items on Stands or something like that. <laughs> I, you item stand all items, <laughs> but yes, and then the mod allows you to re to scale things that are on an item stand. So you can put anything on the item stand, and then scale it really tiny or really big like that. And that's a nice touch. Mm -hmm. I like that. Usually we see hammers uh, done like that because you know Thor and his hammer. So we see a lot, a lot of hammers made big and and protruding from places, but. Uh, I think that might be the first giant axe I've seen. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, very it, it, cool. It's um, very Dwerga style as well with the kind of glowing golden bit in the middle and stuff. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, this feels very Dwerga inspired. So what do we have mm -hmm. here? Seal breakers. Oh, wow. And something broke. Check that out. Now, that's not normally how big they are, is it? No. I don't think so. It looks like it's been scaled up. That is a great decoration because we don't have mm. a lot of things with runes on them and symbols mm -hmm. and things. But this one, the seal breaker. Well, there you go. If you use item stand all items, you can make some really cool decorations with the seal breakers. Interestingly enough, it, it didn't work for me. All the stuff is not scaled. But yeah. Oh, oh because, because you, you don't, don't have, have the transformations mod. on. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have the mod. Oh, yeah, you got to turn you on transformations. To, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to do a little aerial right. shot here before we go in so people can see what we're, is we're looking at. I'm flying it's beautiful. in camera mode. Oh, that's a big-ass X. Yeah. <laughs> You're only seeing it now. Yeah. So this building has yeah. a little bit of that Eastern uh, fortress style uh, look to it. Just a little bit. With the way it goes up and then gets smaller, smaller and smaller, uh, like squared shapes as it goes up. Yeah, Shinobi could have lived here or wow. was living here. Great location for this, too. Check that out. Are you uh, doing an aerial shot, Gwen? Yep. Looking real nice. Might even want to make it a little darker on my end. Oh, I, with the aerial shot, you get some really cool views from the windows and stuff as well. Looking in. Oh, I'm excited to visit this. I feel yeah. like we're going to spend some time here because it is a very big build. This is a big build. Yep. So. Oh, wow. That's cool. I like it. I'm going to head on in. Yoink. Oh, wow. Check this out. Wow. Nice feasting area. Wow, so much detail. So if you're on my servers, or if you join at some point, you got to come check out these builds. They're, they're so impressive in person. Oh, again, look at the, the ceiling in here. I love how people are coming up with amazing designs for the ceilings. All mm -hmm. the ceiling. All the ribbing, yeah. That's awesome. awesome. Wow. This, yeah, this is a... a Nice big, see, we came in right there. A nice big Dwerger fortress. It is worth noting as well that all of these builds built on Jurok servers are all made on survival mode, no creative mode here. So everyone's been grinding, gathering the materials oh, yes. in order to uh, 
in order to make this. Yep. We have another uh, hexagonal gate here. It goes out onto the balcony. Lots of nice detail inside and out. Mm -hmm. oh, I like Did you this. see the wisp lights? The wisp, wisp torches in the corners? Yep. Yep, very uh, magical Dwerger feel with those those lights. Mm -hmm. This is an interesting... This is like a... Yeah? I was going to say, this is more like a Dwerger king castle, really. Oh, Dwerger yeah. Dwerger royalty. Some, some very, very important Dwerger, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. This is a nice touch, this uh, table being blocking the entrance, but um, it's just yeah. sort of a, a structural feature, uh, you know, that you, you look out or looking into the building through this evil <laughs> looking magic. <laughs> Very cool. Cool idea. Interesting to see how, what, how, what people come up with. Feed the hot tub here below. Oh, I guess for the 17 comfort. Mm hmm. Or 17 or whatever the max is. And Christmas again. Oh, you can, f or you can yeah, click right comfort. here. Yep. Oh, look, four seats, four of us. Perfect. There we go. <laughs> and you're seeing all these tankards, they're all collected by hand. Because you can't make those. Yeah, the Dwerger tankards, you have to get them from mm -hmm. their uh, little outposts, right? In their towers. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, so Dwergers did die for this build. Oh, no. No. This, disclaimer. No, they were <laughs> borrowed. Yeah, tankers, you don't know if they, they? died. You, you, they might uh, still be alive. You could run mm. in and grab the tankard and run out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they might get so, mad, uh, but... <laughs> Dwergers were burgled for this build. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Normally, I, I just take them for the lanterns. I just go in there, take the lanterns, and leave them be. Look at these windows here that look out. To, I just now noticed that this shape. It's like a diamond mm -hmm. cross with a cross in in the middle of it. And it, ma and it goes really well with the diamond um, fence uh, that's in there. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So cool. I'm going to be copying these ideas when I, uh, these little <laughs> details when I finally get to the Mislins on my, uh, I'm a, I play on the modded server. I'm just entering the swamp uh, and Iron Age. I don't have any iron yet, so I can't say I'm in the Iron Age, but I've got a bunch of bronze and I'm just now starting to venture into the swamps on my modded server. I'm enjoying the uh, table. Uh the feast layout and i just also noticed the cooked seeker meat kind of looks like sushi oh yeah it, it does <laughs> looks like jello to me no the the, the cooked seeker meat ah cooked seeker meat ah yeah. yes it does it looks like the uh the ebi the prawn mm -hmm. yeah it looks like, <laughs> a prawn a sushi. Prawn. like a huge prawn <laughs> yeah oh i think i'm gonna make some uh Bento boxes for <laughs> yeah bento competition bento box yeah, bento box eater refinery down there and the uh, kitchen over here it's very nice wow that's a decent size kitchen that's a fully it's functional hunter. base does Eva actually live in this build I don't know I do believe he does. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I think it does. Everything. I would. This is amazing. <laughs> not sure if the Dwarga can reach to the middle of the table, though. Yep, this is a spawn yeah. point. They need a piggyback on uh, their friends. <laughs> oh, are you crouching to be like, okay, as like, a Dwarga like of size. this yeah. size? <laughs> Dwarga size. So they so, need to jump up here. I quite like this. Uh, the hair being cooked this kind of setup and when you fly around you can see that from the outside as well which is really cool oh yeah let's see how are they doing the hair on there without it burning item stands oh, it... it's uh probably on a oh. yeah on an item stand oh yeah i have them hidden so i can't see the item stand <laughs> that's why it fooled me <laughs> 
But even uh, with, I see the item stands, but they must be hidden under the path or something. Mm. Oh yeah, Bambi's uh, confirming that this is uh, Iver's actual base. Mm. Uh, and also saying that uh, all those builds built on rune lands, uh, they get scary night spawns and raids and stuff so yeah. <laughs> a lot of uh, the builders have been you know trying to build through the night as well and uh having to contend with all the mobs trying to attack them while they're building yeah i'm not sure what they're cooking here but it looks a bit uh gruesome bit of everything uh, uh i could yeah. even say sushi at some point yeah Ooh, we have um a the Shit Demolisher up. Hammer here with the World Tree on it, prominently displayed mm, nice. in this alcove. Very beautiful hammer. Yeah, I do see a lot of people just like put their weapons on the wall. Nice mm -hmm. to see a variation on weapon display like that. Mm -hmm. mm. And that hammer is a beautiful centerpiece for a weapons display with it's, that golden mm -hmm. tree. Yeah, it's so decorative with that tree. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Cool. Okay, and I got a I got a snowstorm, and it's getting dark outside for me. So um, <laughs> this adds a lot. This adds a lot to the feel. <laughs> yeah. And we have a workshop here. Very, wow. That's a bit of light oh. on your stream, at least, Gwen. Who's uh, who's giving me hearts? It was me changing the the title oh. day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> how did that? Uh, okay. Must yes. must, must be attached to a bind, huh? Yeah, someone yeah. passed me a bind. I don't know who. Happy, oh, happy belated have. Valentine's, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, we got a stairwell to go up, up over here. I don't think I missed anything else. Yeah, the detail as we're walking outside here, I just like we'll look back up at the building. So much detail added everywhere. Mm -hmm. And you guys should really watch this at night. It's much more... Uh, mine's mine's at like a really coming. low sunrise, so it's dark-ish, but my viewers can still see. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this uh, fireplace at the foot of the bed. Keep your feet warm. <laughs> uh, that's oh, a nice I'm sure the Dwerger reach it. Oh, hey, it's, wow. It's got extra Derver, Dwerger extractor oh. bed posts. Oh. That's right. Oh, go <laughs> tonight. Oh. <laughs> it's a puppy. Oh, oh, that's a puppy in a little bed. I think he brought it. He had this puppy in the in the previous build he had. He yeah. brought it over. The build was destroyed. And we the bed is the puppy. new though. We rescued the puppy from the other. The bed is that's tails. Yeah, yeah, the no, old trophy. Cute. That's very clever because that Whoa. looks like actually. If I look down on my floor, it looks like my little terrier <laughs> weighs ten pounds. He curls up just like that, and his bed has these little poofy edges around it. It looks almost exactly <laughs> the same, and he's white, yeah. too. <laughs> so cute. All right. So those Dwerger extractors. Yeah. They kind of look like sci-fi Oh, it totally guns. looks like something out of Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was So you know this whole area here mm -hmm. with that and then the black marble? Have you watched uh, The Mandalorian? Yeah. <laughs> It's totally a Mandalorian kind of uh, feel, doesn't it? Yep, yep. Like, right. like the actual Mandalorians, because they 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 are kind of like uh, blacksmiths and stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Or they have a blacksmith at some point. It's really giving me those vibes. That gives me an idea for uh, st May the Fourth Star Wars build competition. We should definitely do one this year as well. Oh but look, he's he he's using all these weapons. He's using wolf fangs as holders for the crom sword oh, above the bed. Wow! What a nice that is touch. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, that very is a really cool is, touch. Oh. You know what I'm really impressed by too are these. Uh, I don't even know what you would call them. These these sh triangular shaped corners here in between uh, the armor. And this side is displaying a bow. That is a nice touch in the room. So much detail. And that that bow gave us something that we didn't have before in the game. 
red light. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, red light. Same with the mage, uh, the mage stick. Mm -hmm. Staff of embers. But, but but this the mage stick does yellow light. This oh, is the only source I've found so far that actually does pure red light. Mm. Mm. And you can we'll do some amazing decoration outcome. with this. I hope so. I hope so. Mm. Well, you certainly of course have thing. a little bit of red light to them, but. Yeah, and the stuff of protection over here as well. It's more like pink. Pinkish. Between red and pink. But it's not mm. very bright. Oh, this room is really cool looking. It's actually the first time that I see a lot of these uh, Miss Lance weapon up close. Mm -hmm. That's the Himimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
And you guys, if you could get your scores in, that was Ever. I'm going to start loading Canaris. I traveled back. Oh, sorry. Norse. All right. Let's see. We are loading up here. Quite the defended location. This was a couple of days ago. I'm pretty scared to be in this place. So Canris is saying early morning sunrise with a little light is the best time to view. Oh, perfect. It's 9 a.m. for me. Oh, yep. so we'll change that. He's wrong. Morning. morning looks terrible. It's all front lit. It's got to be sunset. So it's backlit. Mm -hmm. I might, I will change that to evening. I well, my... it depends, because we're not staying here, right? We're going to be walking around the build, so. Well, yeah, but this is the uh, presentation no, as we walk up. It went through the glowy, the main glowy gate, take a right from the ward, the build will circle back to the left. Okay, so we have to go right. When Once we get, we up, get there. up to the gate. Yeah, nice, crates everywhere. Oh, I like that. You see that little harbor down here? Cute. You guys are running up. You're missing all the cool details that are here. I saw the details on the harbor. It's nice. Yeah. That looks nice. It's an upscaled burger harbor. Yeah. <laughs> Without getting the harassment of the burgers. Mm-hmm. Mm. And Fenris being built, I guess. I like this or little area. Ah, oh, it's cute. Display for the de demolisher there. It's like a like a gazebo, but without the roof. Mm -hmm. Very cool looking. Wow, looks like we have a lot of stuff here. Just looking at this grand entrance way. Yeah, that front you view might, is interesting. Wow. Yeah, see it from the side, the the the, the entrance. To see what it is. Yeah, I'm gonna go into free, free fly mode to so show everybody what we're looking at here. Cause, uh... oh yeah. wow, that is the head of something, uh, a wolf. Fenris. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Yep, you need to Look at you the need detail. to fly to see it. <laughs> yep. Oh wow. Wow, that is. It's... Oh, the teeth! It's got teeth! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, my. I have to look at the stream. Oh, wow. The, uh, yeah, the, 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 the... <laughs> I would offer to carry you uh, up in the air, but I don't think the game has those mechanics yet. Oh, you use wow. the dragon head pieces to make the teeth. Yeah, that is really the clever. first dragon head pieces. I'm wondering how he curved those boards. Wow. Oh. oh, I see. Wow. And the eyes for the uh, the statue. Yeah. The little spherical lights. Very cool looking. Uh... It's a nice presentation, too, with the buildings around and, and above it there, too. Mm -hmm. And Canaris's signature little elf roof. Uh, curls. curls yeah, oh, yeah the, the curls. curls roof yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah very cool all right i'm going to start walking through lots to look at here too you can make sure you get this too onto the um stargate uh map so people can come and visit oh, there's a checkpoint here <laughs> Please lay, lay weapons in the chest. There's a little Dwerger over here. 
<laughs> he was crouched down. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave unauthorized weapons in the chest below and retrieve them upon exit. If they're okay. carried beyond this point, the magic gate ahead will obliterate you. <laughs> Ah. Whoa. <laughs> I tried and I failed. I tried and I failed. <laughs> Who didn't drop his weapons? Huh? <laughs> wow. Oh, wait, Canaris with his hood kind of looks like a Jawa robbing <laughs> us from all. <laughs> wow. Nice uh, workshop mm -hmm. area as soon as we come in. He's got some blue mushrooms on display in here. Must have won some build competitions in the past. Oh, yeah. Oh, just so much detail in the roof and the walls and everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the architecture is just wild. Oh, I love this upside down triangle shape coming down to the forge here. That's a nice touch. Yeah, those marble pieces have so many. Uh, yeah, you can really get creative with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A beautiful thing for those pieces. I love this blue, bluish turquoise uh, pieces that we've get from the uh, Dwar from the, from Mislins. The uh, cloth blue here. Jute. That's blue jute. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, just to add a different color and a different shape and cloth, you know, from the banners and stuff that we have. Just like these uh, these ones too that hang down, kind of. Yeah. Like in the shape of a banner, but, you know, split. It's nice to have a, another color and another shape in the cloth. I'll be honest, though. Um, these rugs, these circular rugs, not a big fan. Me neither. Yeah, I don't like the texture on them. Yeah, the texture the doesn't texture bother looks... me, but it's the shape. They're just way too symmetrical. It like, looks like something you would have in a in a toilet or something. <laughs> in a toilet. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why they did like this perfectly circular shape, like an irregular yeah. circle or an or uh, an oval would have been mm, better. Yeah. Um, but I love the color that it has. Yeah, it's a nice I'm, color. I'm also, also good with the color texture. It's just the round shape looks like something you buy at IKEA for your <laughs> for your toilet room. In in Dwarf IKEA. Yeah. What's that, Jules? Yeah. <laughs> Dwork, yeah. It's a big toilet there, but yeah. Yeah. Well if you put enough of them down you could cover the whole floor and not notice the yeah. the blue shape, but yeah. Mm. Nice color, but yeah. As soon as I saw them when they first released this circular shape, I, I went, eh? <laughs> yeah it doesn't fit with the rest of this stuff because every all the other rugs and stuff uh but to be fair have... i have the yeah Look, that's the wrong we should, we should way go, right. go right oh go right yeah. then. <laughs> oh he keeps saying go right <laughs> he's talking yes. in chat but i'm not paying any attention to it <laughs> uh right i'm guessing up here right um another toilet oh. mm. <laughs> Ooh, the map room. But yeah, I have uh, I have this the same feel about the uh, the red jute carpet. It's like a perfect rectangle. Yeah. With like very pointy edges, and it's like uh, it's good for certain types of decoration though, because you can actually use it on the table as a tablecloth, which is quite good. But yeah, yeah. Wow, look at all the tools used to make that trim. <laughs> yeah, at this point, Val uh, Iron Gate just needs to give us. The this build shape right <laughs> yeah in like a, in like a long so piece because uh <laughs> yeah. like people keep using that shape to to decorate with and it adds tons of instances and mm. um a lot of materials valuable re resources but it does look cool actually let's see how many oh not too bad i guess it's because we're in the deep north yeah you don't get trees Seven and rocks thousand that up here yeah. all that stuff well not nice that, the, that everyone keeps on giving reference to the big hammer with a with a world tree we keep on mm -hmm. seeing it over and over as a like a worship piece mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. should we go out to the right here oh wow bombs black arrows catapult mm. ammo <laughs> wow they're getting ready for warfare here yeah 
And is this a water blocking wall? Oh, it's in a dam. Distance. A dam, yeah, thank you. <laughs> dam. Nice. Dam, what a dam. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's big. Wow. But if water comes, it's just gonna, gonna go through the holes in the uh, wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks cool though. It's to keep the bad the, the baddies out. <laughs> Armory. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that one's locked. Beetlejuice. What are you trying to do? Trying to yeah, sneak I'm in? Yeah, I'm not that man. <laughs> <laughs> Next um, competition, I be, need to be on that list, Jirok. Mm-hmm. Just do it. No harm intended. <laughs> I can mod my way around anyway, you know. Then he's saying <laughs> we should come back up there. Nice flower and mushroom display here, Gwen. Mm -hmm. Very colorful. Yeah, everywhere. It's for them. Mm -hmm. Nice little yeah, was, uh, was flower pots. I love how people build these uh, storage boxes mm -hmm. all over the place. It just adds a nice touch. This staircases are, are nice. I like the uh, the mix of the black marble pieces with the wood. I really like that because otherwise I feel like uh, too much and only black marble yeah. is a bit overwhelming. It's a bit too... Because it's got so much texture to it. Mm -hmm. And they're so dark, those pieces. I like that uh, the wood is kind of uh, adding a bit of contrast. Look, at, if you if you zoom zoom out and look at the uh, wall, um, I always I forget what these are called, the steps, but the the shape, the way they come down the wall on the out, on the outside, mm -hmm. it's really cool looking. That feels like yeah, yeah, exactly. That feels very like Dwerger stronghold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's really cool. I want a wall like that all the way around my base. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's cool. again, it's giving me loads of uh, sci-fi vibes. I think uh, with the new black marble pieces and the, the new Duaga pieces, you can really make some cool uh, Star Wars or Star Trek inspired builds. Yeah, for sure. And look, check out this gate. Very cool yeah. looking gate. That we're passing through here. Nice. Let's see. Where is he's all down there? So we got a couple of houses here. Haldor. Oh, Haldor's house. Underground facilities and Haldor's house. Oh, look, he's got a little post post box. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Haldor is, uh, look at that. Check out his crib. He's uh, rolling on uh, <laughs> on money, it seems. It's uh, all that uh, merchant business is uh, bringing in the money. Yeah, of course, he's sleeping. Yeah, look at how luxurious his house is. He's got like a hot tub as a fountain. I love this fountain. Yeah. That's great. He yeah. takes up all the money in here. <laughs> like literally. Get a little flying you know shot of the house. He takes up all the coins. Oh yeah. It makes oh, these yeah. guys know oh, that. Wow, that's a that's good uh, good business he's in. Yeah. That's where your coins would be, Gwen, if you hadn't bought in the Emporium. You, mm. there, your coins would just be part of that little stack right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This I wonder if he's cool. charging too much. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Those eggs are a ripoff from Haldor's. Yeah. Sorry, Haldor, but he has so many stools decorated around the house. My goodness. <laughs> There's a an upper trim and a oh, lower yeah. trim all the way around. Wow. Oh my gosh. So, so many much stools. fine wood. <laughs> <laughs> so much fine wood. Wow. Canaris doesn't sleep though. He just yeah. Well, it's not. We'll stockpile. <laughs> stockpile all these uh, mats. Oh, nice little oh. detail there looking down into the building from this little balcony. Oh. oh, see, I like this. I like when you have to walk through the fabrics because mm -hmm. the, they they were Iron Gate was uh, added that detail where it moves when you pass through it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a nice touch. It just makes it feel more organic. Yep. 
And this little jute rape it is excellent for dwarves. Yeah. Basement Ooh. has secrets. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to go down because there is a downstairs. How do we get there? Through here, I guess. Oh. Oh. Approved by Haldor for the black mock. I knew it. I knew that was dirty money. You can't be a simple little nomad merchant and have a house like this. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call the uh, Dwerger police. I'm going to snitch. Oh, he's got a black market <laughs> Christmas tree down here for after the season. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shady, shady. Jesus. Oh, it's February. February. Right, he's going to have a field day with this. <laughs> Quality he control. Has, he has quality control, yeah. Hmm. Of contraband <laughs> puts, soft yeah. tissue. He puts in the effort, at least. Hmm. Yeah. Not just standard shit. Yeah, the wood, <laughs> the wood shutters make for great walls for the uh, boxes. Mm-hmm. It looks cool, and you can you could open it from the side if you want, but it, it looks cool as a as a like reinforced <laughs> box with the thick corners. Very nice touch. Cool. So I'm guessing that's a cool see, house. Did we, did we see everything inside? Oh, Make there we sure. go. Tunnel system oh. to and from the black market. Don't go in there, Jules. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, um, da -da. It's a trap. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Who was that? Who was that? That was going to be to trap in there. <laughs> uh, no. I don't know. All right. Let's see. Do we have another structure to look at? It looks like he's trying to get us to come down here. We we Oh Beetlejuice using his cape. Yeah, can't fly else. Oh yeah, so that's the tunnel system that goes around. Ah, <laughs> let's see. Mm. It's a black market. Yeah, I thought uh, I was expecting to open and see portals in in here, portals around. It's 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 movie magic, Gwen. It's a facade. <laughs> Aww. What? And next you're gonna tell me that the Disneyland castle isn't real? <laughs> it is. You can walk through it. That's true. I've been through it. I worked at Disneyland. Did you? I did. I must have mentioned oh that at, uh, during one of the podcasts. Did I not? I can't remember. <laughs> no, I would have remembered that. <laughs> yeah, between That's my uh, 11th and 12th grade in high school, that summer, I was looking for a job and got hired at Disneyland. <laughs> you were a cast member. Uh, yeah. What did you do? I worked um, the uh, little restaurant at the end of Main Street on the right. I forget what it's called. Nice. Yeah, it was fun. Let's see where uh, where 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 to now, Canaris? I have lost him. He must. No, oh, he's right behind you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was like literally that. <laughs> was that a he just blends in in the yeah. Yeah, I didn't see him. Black, he, <laughs> he just blends in the. Side of the right out here and right. Uh, Log okay, jacuzzi. No. Let's see, back this way. Back the jacuzzi? Out. Yeah. Is it no. a jacuzzi? Oh, up here. I don't know. I think it's a well. A magic well. So, hall door. What else am I, am I missing anything? Uh, we have this one uh, building on the outside of the gate here. If you come all the way back out to the main wall, just above the wolf head, you walk along oh, yeah. this the loop. wall. Yeah. Yeah. You did mention it loops to the left. I'm loving the detail on these structures and the windows and everything. It's so mm -hmm. nice. 
Oh, there's staircase going down. Oh, this is like a. It's a lookout. Arbalest. Yep. I wonder what now, will happen uh, to this build when the Deep North gets updated. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he did say that he'd take it down, actually. Just uh, well, I wouldn't. Sad. I wouldn't take it down. Oh, well, it, unless it, you need it, the materials. The terrain. Yeah, because the terrain might be all... Uh... When you um, put the camera out and look back, you can see, see the structure. It looks really cool. That yeah. trim. Again, all tons, along with the stools, yeah, tons of stools. See, does it go down more? Oh, it does back here. There's a staircase that. Yeah. Oh, I can't go down it. Oh, baby. So yeah. now that we know that Haldor is uh, doing some shady business, it's giving this whole island and setup a whole different vibe. It's giving me like, uh, <laughs> you know, gangster, drug dealer, drug mogul, uh, secret island vibes. <laughs> Welcome to Haldor's crib, his black market yeah, crib. Yeah, that's why there's like ballistas <laughs> everywhere and you, you've you got like security at the harbor. Yeah, it's the mafia. checkpoint. Oh, mafia yeah, island. now the checkpoint makes sense. It, it, uh, am I getting that right, uh, Canaris? Is, was that the inspiration? Was to make it like this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Haldor super sitting villain, in his Haldor, <laughs> yeah, drug, drug dealer. Where Haldor brings his friends to impress them. Getting yeah. all right, up. Well, very cool build, Canaris. Thank you for showing us. Lots of cool stuff here. And uh, I think we have a, a an animal statue and sculpture build competition coming up, what, next month? Or the month after? I forget. And he's already uh, got yep. this wolf here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, if I were just judging on the animal sculpture, that one would do well. That is really cool looking. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. I'm going to teleport back. Go through the next portal to get it loading. And... <laughs> Haldor's wolf bandit stronghold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't know Haldor was that badass. Yeah. And don't forget to get your scores in on Canaris. <laughs> Smuggling organic food and dietary supplements. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking I do all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right, so I'm here at the last build en uh, entry is Bambi, and I'm already loving this bridge that crosses the water here. Wow. That is really cool. Look at all the pl the uh, logs, you know, going up and down like a suspension bridge. And the handrails and the little lanterns. Wow, what a great touch. Oh. Yeah roller coaster yeah going up and down yeah i love builds like this that feel very like organic with the environment like that Ooh, what do we have here Ooh. troll bd not quite sure what i'm looking at is this like a it's a midsummer crown. A, a giant coffin? midsummer crown. Oh. Mm. Oh yeah. It's some Oh, I I think I know what this is. What is it? I'm not uh -huh, sure what it is. Uh-huh. Gambi, <laughs> I see you. I see what you did. Uh can you sleep in there? Uh no, but it kind of felt like a, like, what do you call it? The, 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 the burial at sea thing that you would do. Like the, you, somebody would lay in here and you'd set them on fire and set them afloat. <laughs> Sleeping beauty, but. Uh-huh. Yeah. You, we're going to have to find your Prince Charming. <laughs> somebody will yep. have to kiss I, me. I, otherwise I, I can't, um, I can't sit up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go get a gray dwarf. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got another bridge here. 
Uh, this it reminds so me cute. of uh, Dipstick's builds. He, he tried to build these very organic, natural-looking details in, oh, as part gosh. of the build. Bambi. I'm loving uh, this. Cute. Because I totally get it now. I, I Yep, 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 yep. Ah, oh, this is so pretty. And it's funny, we were talking about Disneyland just five minutes ago because... Is this um, Sleeping Beauty anyone... and the Seven Dwarves? <laughs> That's the... <laughs> what? <laughs> Sleeping Beauty and the Seven Dwarves? <laughs> Are you maybe combining two fairy tales in one? Yes, I am. <laughs> and does Sleeping Beauty also, like, lose a shoe at some point? And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <after? laughs> and the Seven Dwarves uh, get it for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's exactly how the story goes. <laughs> okay, let's go in. This is cute. Yeah, look at all the details. I love that. Look, the door is, is... I love how everything is quite shrinked. It does have, like, a proper... Oh, that's yeah, it's a proper size, yes. Yeah. Yep. The Viking Aww. kisses, yeah. <laughs> oh look how cute that stay. Look at oh. the seven oh. they have they have seven seven clothes and seven helmets and everything. <laughs> and seven pickaxes for when they go mining. I hope. Oh. Oh. I hope. That's cute. <laughs> you this need is... to crouch. Oh there's the piano! Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh, how did what? Wow. That is amazing. That is so cute. Oh, Bambi, I, gotta, I can't. This I got to follow so Gwen around because she's, she's finding everything. Oh, how look. did you do the uh the Oh, piano? look, uh, the, the bed. Come back up. How do you do the yeah. Wait, wait, wait. How do you do We're the, admiring the, the piano? piano? Linen, linen tape. Three, yeah, but how is she shakers. creating the space three. in between the keys? Yeah. I don't, I don't understand. Re, re, no, no, no. They're resized. They're reshaped. Oh, they're resized. That's right. You can <laughs> resize stuff on there. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Amazing piano. Oh, this is so cute. Come up here. Gwen, you will okay, love okay, it. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. I'm coming. Be oh my God. This is too cute. Bambi. <laughs> Sneezy, Sneezy, happy, happy sleepy. sleepy. Sleepy, grumpy, dopey, dog, and bashful. I'm definitely going on the dopey one. <laughs> I'm gonna claim the bit. <laughs> I want the grumpy one. <laughs> wow, this isn't the first uh, fantasy build she's done or fairy no, tale build. That, yeah, <laughs> I know. I love it. I love look it. So the it. Oh, guys, guys, you you missed some of the details. So look at what all the pillows. If she's using bread as the pillows, it's <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Oh wow! <laughs> and the lanterns are resized. I think they look smaller. Yeah, look look resized? at the tools here. The tools are also resized. They're so tiny. And little, little oh. tools. Oh, oh my tiny God. hands. Everything is resized. <laughs> <laughs> the tiny little hands. Oh. Or <laughs> the tiny little, tiny little uh, dwerger hands. Yeah. Now I want to play oh, this piano. We need that uh, oh. music box sound effect, Glenn, yes. to add to your build so you can pretend like you're playing the piano. Yeah. <laughs> Jules, see, we I... have, uh, you missed, oh no, you were there. You were there when, on the yeah. interview with Patrick. Uh, yeah, I have a mod idea for you. A Viking oh. jukebox. Yeah, yeah, sure. We talked about it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. This is so cute. Uh, and Kenrys is saying, ceiling. I can't with this lady Bambi. I know. It's so cute. Look, those tiny little uh, food or meat slices. Yeah. A little finger food for little little burgers. <laughs> and all the ceilings are super low. It makes you feel even yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. And everything. Does. So that's one thing that I did note is all the other buildings, all the... Uh, all the other builds, the tables and everything was like human size, even even a bit too big, like for humans. Mm -hmm. And this yeah. is the only build so far that has everything sized shorter, like the Dwerger Towers, mm -hmm. um, so that the mm -hmm. Dwergers can reach. And I see Jules is like testing everything by crouching around and seeing if, if a Dwerger could reach. <laughs> <laughs> like Gandalf inside Bilbo's house. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna yeah, hit my head in something. Cute. I like that I can open the door. That's the first build. I can open the door. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh okay, yeah. <laughs> hand is like yeah, the hand is at the right right level. Are uh, these chairs also, a lot just of... crouching around? <laughs> Are these chairs sunk into the floor too? Mm, I don't think so. But I like the uh, transformation well, on the lantern to have lanterns of different sizes. Pretty cool. They are sunken by having the oh yeah the car carpets being a bit higher. Oh. But... Yeah, different size more, lanterns Bambi? side by side is really cool up here on the fireplace. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh look, a little crown of fruits and things. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Mm hmm. Very cool, Bambi. Very cool. I'm curious how long it took everyone to build their builds because all of these are mm -hmm. so detailed. It's amazing. But so yeah, so detailed and so big as well. Like I, I was expecting much smaller builds, as in not necessarily fully functional bases and so on. But yeah, all the builds have been pretty. Bambi's been gigantic. doing this intensively for more than a week now. I mean, like that to me is insane because it takes me a week to decorate like half a room. So <laughs> <laughs> building a whole thing like that in a week, what? I think she got the idea like two weeks ago or something, and and just oh, it's so cute. I, I like the the touches like this uh, mug that's the Dwergit tankard that's like knocked over. That's definitely yeah. the clumsy one. Yeah, <laughs> one is a dopey or something. Even the pies are resized and yeah, side they by cook side. Different different shaped pies. Yeah. That's one of the cool things about the item stand mod is because when everything looks too like symmetrical and the same, you know, it doesn't doesn't look aesthetically as pleasing. Cause like if there are three exactly same pies sitting there. But having yep. different shaped pies next to each other or different sized lanterns next to each other, it looks so much nicer. Gives it more depth, I don't know, more realism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, this this detail, this one is like my favorite. Yeah, this hmm. corner here with the uh, mm -hmm. the pickaxes in there. Like seven helmets, seven mm -hmm. capes or coats. <laughs> wow, uh, very cool. <laughs> could spend a long time in all of these builds mm -hmm. well let's see i'm gonna go back out and give a, a fly i love this door too how it feels mm -hmm. small like that that's cool i'm gonna do a little fly around the house here because it just needs to be seen yeah also i love the uh the cutesy details the flower uh pots outside the windows and everything it's pretty Pretty adorable. Yeah. Oh, these, uh, yeah. Uh, in the back of the building, once you get around to one of the sides, there's the flower pots. Yeah, outside the windows, too. Pretty detailed. Wow, those mu new mushrooms really add a lot of interesting color. Mm. Yeah. I saw them used in uh, quite a few of the builds yeah. for decoration, which is good. And I remember what you said, Gwen, about just using all black marble. It just looks like too much black yeah. marble. But here she's got uh, some of the regular stone in around like the corners and then the oh, wood. Oh, yep. And then why you would add those extra wood pieces, just like the one meter beam sticking out. I don't know how you come up with that idea, but it just looks so much nicer for the framing to have that extra detail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it just makes it look a lot more cozy because that's the thing with the black marble. It can look very cold. And same with the stone, actually. I don't like, um, similarly, I don't like buildings that are just the normal stone, like castles that have only that because it just makes the building feel really, yeah, cold and you have to add some uh, wood for more of a cozy look. So, yeah, because inside, you know what? I, I didn't even realize that there was black marble mm -hmm. until I started doing the free fly and, and looking out. Because when you're inside, because the ceilings are so low and um, 
and everything there's like wooden beams everywhere and the floor is also uh wood um and by the way if you miss that detail the floor is not just normal floor pieces it's actual beams that have been laid out like uh like floor yeah all right that's a lot of work <laughs> yep that's a lot of work but it's a really nice touch because it makes it look really really more um yeah because they're not like all you know they're not completely symmetrical yeah. there's some that stick out a bit more it just makes it more natural i feel yeah more organic mm -hmm. yeah very cool the whole setting too, like I'm zoomed out past the bridges here and um, Snow White or uh, yep. <laughs> yep, Beauty yep, yep. And the Seven Dwarfs. Yeah, Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> uh, I, I got it. I got the the S sound right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And it's still the Seven Dwarfs. Seven Dwarfs, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very nice is, setting. Right? I'm, I'm yep. going to fly up. I just want to see where we're at in this area. Well, what's really interesting is this whole build is just kind of hidden. It's elusive. Yeah. If you sail by, you just see this little bridge in this portal. You have no idea the magic that awaits within the forest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And Probably like people will part. come by to see this, this um, Leaping Beauty thing here at the entrance. And it's and like then, the alternative reality of the Dwarves if they wouldn't have been in the Mistlands and all grumpy and uh, foggy and misty. Hey, you know that the uh, whole uh, law behind the Dwarves is that they've been kind of out. I think they've been kind of outcast in the Mistlands. So maybe they actually come from these little houses. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's, something that's bad random. happened to them and then they had to flee to the Mistlands or something. Yeah. We pushed them out of yeah. their, their buildings. For Vikings. No. Did they push them out or did Haldor convince them that that was the place uh, to be? Oh, yeah. Even Haldor. 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 Haldor knew that we were coming and basically, no, no, guys, go over there. Go, go over away. I'll take care of the Vikings. I'll get and that was all a scheme so that he could so... sell more of his wares and he would yeah. uh, not have <laughs> any so competition connected. from other Dwergers. Come work he's, at uh, my he's a real bad guy, this uh, Haldor. Yeah. And the conspiracy is coming alive. It's 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 all coming. Haldor. <laughs> Jarl Axel Gaming in my comments said, this is really adorable. Aww. <laughs> it is. Very cool. It's right. staring at the cuteness. I'm going to... Uh... <laughs> Why is this so cute? <laughs> teleport back please uh, all you builders please add all these great builds to the uh, stargate portal uh, so that people can come and visit them in person and get your scores in and uh, I will meet you guys on at the oh, great are hall. we doing? Oh, should we do Great Hall or should we try the Rune City? We should do the Great Hall because that's where I have all the prizes set up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if you had it all set up. Okay, so we have to log out then. Meet you there. Yep. Oh, oh, my. There we go. Log out. We'll announce winners here and. Uh... Get uh, everybody the there, right. their awards. I'll show you what they get. Oh, this judging is so tough. <laughs> so many cool builds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were all great. They were all really impressive. Really big. Mm -hmm. Beetle Jewels has arrived. 
Yeah, someone needs to teleport me. <laughs> well, I'm still loading for some reason. I must have too many mods installed. Am admin mods. So what did everyone uh, in chat think of all these builds? My son is wearing a No Map Navigators T-shirt today. Oh, Jeremiah! Oh, nice. Is that one from uh, from Jerox merch store? No Map Navigators. Yep, that's a, one of the designs available on my merch store. Nice. So, Hold on, Jules. Um, let's see if anybody is in voice chat on our server we, that we can join them. Oh, they are. I'm going to hop down into the uh, Making Friends channel to say hello. Okay. Uh, I will. I'm good. How are you? Good. Amazing build, Canaris. I, I feel like all of you guys have done really, like, really amazing stuff. So. Oh, no, <laughs> you did amazing stuff as well. That That wolf. Oh, my gosh. That needs to build in. Uh, that needs to be in the in the statue build as well. Yeah, I, I can enter it again. Yeah. <laughs> well, hello everyone. Hey there. Well done on the build. Amazing builds. Only four, mm -hmm. and we spent tons of time at them all <laughs> already an hour yeah. and, past an hour and a half for only four builds <laughs> i felt like we could spend a lot more time there as well i thought you would be done earlier but yeah amazing stuff yeah very cool all right so uh we've got scores are in and uh, i'm going to come upstairs here I'm on my way to the. So I'm gonna great hall. I'm gonna announce the runner up here. Um, all amazing builds. The scores are all super close, um, but our runner up and I have a chest upstairs for this runner up, and I'll show what's in the chest. We have a couple of rare items: a rancid remains trophy, a blue mushroom, which are super rare. A uh, wraith trophy, a silver necklace, and a wraith chain. But uh, runner up for today's build is Lil Bree. Lil Bree, amazing build. Very cool. Well done. Well done. Congrats. Yeah, beautiful build. Uh, let's see here. We have in third place, and let me show you what they get. They're going to get the Mead Horn of Odin, which is a DLC item they can decorate with, with my name on it. Horn of Celebration with my name on it. They also get a level quality four hammer, one higher than you can make. Uh, Hood of Odin for decorating on your stands. And a whole bunch of other goodies, including three blue mushrooms. And this one goes to Ivair. Ivair. Awesome well job Ooh, on your build. Well uh, second place uh, is a Cape of Odin along with all that other stuff and five blue mushrooms. And this goes nice. to... Drum roll. <laughs> Canaris. <laughs> awesome. Congrats. That means... We have no first place winner this week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, Bambi had an entry. Bambi, congratulations. <laughs> Truly? Yeah. Yeah. No. Bambi gets 10 blue mushrooms, a hood and cape of Odin, a whole bunch of other goodies, and a level 10 hammer. I think that's your second level 10 hammer, isn't it, Bambi? How? Wow. <laughs> Why? At least your second one. I, I I'll lose track. <laughs> well done, Bambi. That was oh, very gosh. clever build, and everybody here uh pretty much unanimously um uh, yours was um 
but again, they all all the scoring was super close. Like most of yeah. them were just within a yeah, point of like each other. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of them are within a point. To I was be like, fair, I, need, I needed to add more because all those bills were so amazing. Yeah, they were all amazing. It's hard to uh, it's hard to, ju amazing, to judge yeah. builds. You know, it's and again, don't don't take us as like the any kind no. of uh, authority oh. on the matter. This it's all subjective. We're just putting uh -huh. in how we're affected yeah. by it. But um, we appreciate you guys building this uh, and for the community too. Hopefully the community can get out mm. there and visit them all. If you guys list your builds on the uh, Stargate hub. And uh, if you guys could come sit on the stairs with me and the winners, if you want to hop up onto your chest for the winners that we do have here, I will get a screen cap to post. And I have signs there too. So awesome job, everybody. Here we go. Yay. Yeah, impressive as always. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Very good. And thank you to all the viewers for watching. I hope that you got some amazing build ideas like I did. I know I got tons of... So one of the reasons I want everybody who does a build competition or any other interesting thing on the server, please continue to add your builds to our Stargate Portal Hub because um, that myself and others, not only can we visit, but this is how we share build ideas. It's so cool. We, we've got to have hundreds of builds on this server by now. So having that directory is a good way to help find all these really amazing builds that are all over this server. And for those of you watching, this server has been running, like I said, for, since September 2021. Uh, so mm -hmm. coming up in a, in a year and a half now here. So pretty soon. Pretty amazing. I, I had no idea it would last so long. <laughs> but uh, if you guys want to uh, come and join everybody, just go to my Discord channel. You can talk to everybody, at least get to know everyone. If you don't want to play on the server, you can go to um, discord.gg slash Viking or my website, DirectTheViking.com, to uh, find out how to play on the servers with everybody. Yep. Great fun. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone for uh, for watching, for following the stream. And uh, yeah, as uh, Jeremiah is reminding people, don't forget to give uh, that thumbs up button if you're watching Jirok's stream. Make sure you, you like and leave a comment. And, or Gwen's uh, stream, give the thumbs oh, up as well. Oh, mine, if you want, if you want. <laughs> if you of insist. Of course. <laughs> I'm glad somebody um, mentions that because I always forget that. <laughs> yeah, it's just something that you don't pay attention to. I, I wish uh, YouTube had a feature where the thumbs up and the subscribe and, you know, the uh, thank button, which is a donation button and join button if you wanted to subscribe, you know, to, for a monthly donation. I wish they put that at the end of the video on the video itself, like an overlay that came mm. up because uh, people watch the video and then the video ends and they go on to the next video. They don't look down and th everything under the the video and you know they just i don't know it's not integrated very well to help uh content creators so we rely on you viewers to take the extra time to look for that thumbs up button and smash it with your hammer <laughs> with your uh, what's it called the dwerger with the one that we saw on every build with oh, the, the demolisher like... demolish the yes. demolish that demolish button. that like button demolish <laughs> that yeah. like button there you go That's don't it. demolish it then nobody can hit it no but demolish it <laughs> demolish it all right uh, all right thanks for joining me judges and jules thank you for joining us today of course always impressed <laughs> by all the creativity that's going on yeah yeah. All right. Well, that's it for now. Have fun out there, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. -bye.